Okay. Uh, raise all armies? No. Do not raise armies. Now they finally disbanded because they got completely annihilated. Yeah. So, my knights didn't die, but all my other troops died. I hope it was worth it, Mr. Who are you? Chieftain Dubda Baron of Ormond. My cousin. My soldiers gave their lives for you. All my soldiers, except my knights. Okay. So, yeah, that is a bit of a problem. I'm not going to raise them again until this war is over. Clifton Falky, yeah. You're slowly winning, but very slowly. Yeah, now it's about even. Okay. And I don't really care, because you won't come to my help. Since we're, we don't have an active alliance anymore. Okay. Um... We have raiders, but they're strong. That's a problem. We have allies, though. Yeah, but then we would have to officially declare war. Okay, as long as they stay out of our territory, that's okay. That's okay. And they're coming back. Yeah. So this is really unfair that I'm stuck in an alliance I can't get out of. But I'm being attacked and I can't call in my new alliances. Okay. To the Serene Kunrad, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the independence war. Independence war against... Oh, you have a couple of counties that want independence. Uh, sure, I'll accept. Um, I'll accept. Because I, I will need your help. That also means you might come to defend against these Icelandic invaders. Okay, can I... Yeah, it's here. No, I want my armies raised in Antwerpen. Uh, not that we have the numbers. Maybe wait a little. Three levies is pathetic. But at least we have some men in arms. Okay, my daughter has given birth... what? No, my wife has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Okay. Judith is a biblical name. We're not going for that. We're going for Germanic names here. Um... So, what shall we do? Sasa is related to the word Saxon, as in Anglo-Saxon, right? That works. May you be strong and wise, my daughter. Oh, wow, she is a genius. Don't know how we know that, just days after her birth. 18 November, yeah, it's the week, within a week of her birth. But yeah, that's, that's the case. Okay. Perk, very good. I will do groom to rule.
And I think we should raise our armies. Although, where are our allies? Over there. And there is... Yeah. Uh, I think I should go here. Raise the army here. And then raise all armies. And go and help our allies over here. Flavor. And they are departing. Okay. They don't want to take Brugge or Antwerp. Apparently not. Sway so, compliments to make my steward Count Damiano more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him. I can include a compliment in my next missive to his court. I will be sure to mention his handsome appearance. I will keep it short and professional. It's handsome appearance. I, I do think he looks handsome for her. A uh, 52 year old uh, albino. Greetings, my serene liege. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think that we might both benefit from increased communication. Excellent. Excellent. Does that mean you're now. S yeah, you're no longer in this faction and are too weak to send an ultimatum? Very good. Alright. Uh, neighboring ruler lost to war. Yeah, we're not interested in that. Beartflad was killed. Oh, that means Fulbert is now single. And my what? My son was captured by Yar Uni of Island. That's not right. That's not right at all. Okay, let's get you a young wife. Right, let's get you a young wife with inheritable traits, like your niece Swanahild, uh, my niece Swanahild. Um, keep it in the family, that's possible. Um, there is Mudra here, but we want somebody who has an intelligent trait. Klimhild from Regenstein. Okay. That's a possibility. There is Blanca. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Let's let's go by age. Right. Uh, cream health is good. Or yeah, then we get to older ones. Let's go with Grimhild. See if you can get an intelligent child in your old age. Um, that means... Oh, we can ask our head of faithful call. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We can declare wars. Yeah, I don't want to. I can imprison Count Damiano. He has, he is excommunicated. Oh, that's not good. Um, no, the problem is that my son is imprisoned. But his jailer will not accept. And my daughter, my genius daughter, is in prison too, and she's sick. Will also not accept ransom. Okay, well, it is what it is. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Excellent. Who else do we need to sway? Our marshal, our spy master. No, we're all good here. King Georg we have now. Ah, but because he is the husband of... And he's only 29 and she's 44. Okay. Um, that works, I guess. Second husband. Third. Okay. Um... She likes us a little, maybe we should sway her. 
I mean, look at that. That's, that's pretty impressive. That's one possibility. Or we could go for our ally. totally get us as a steward. You know you should. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Probably bigger. Three hundred. Yeah, we can't even take it back. Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. She has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week. My liege, my guard informs me. The woman bows deeply. My name is Gould, Your Highness. I have travelled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. You are Norse. Okay, and you have some children. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Embrace God, and this will be your home. And she does so. And we're getting slaughtered again. Right. Is he any good? Not really. She, though, is now my courtier. Yeah, my sister's a bit young, but she can get a knight. Like uh, Francesco. He looks pretty good. Kaspar. That's also pretty impressive. Let's go with uh, Francesco. Hey, we're not very uh, lucky in war, right? Who is now? She. Oh, she's stronger because our armies were. Decimated. In our recent communication with my liege Queen Emigrant, she expressed a want to focus on her ambitions and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letters contain more on a topic close to her heart. Uh, I've heard that she appreciates feats of war. I think so. Attorney troubles. As Duke, I have a I've been obliged to attend a local jousting tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The attorney won't start for at least an hour. Looking around, I notice my coach is schooled, sitting under a nearby pavilion. Yes, spend some time with her. Okay, then Marshal Edward. He has grown bolder. His challenge is no longer passed unnoticed at the council table. He's testing my limits. There are others. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Mocking his insistent whining will shut him up. He shall have tasks which are impossible to complete. Like win this damn war. All problems will be blamed on him. How dare you challenge your duke? Yeah, he shall have tasks which are impossible to complete. And again, a manipulation who can Edward. 
That's good. When Edward tried to complete his task thoroughly, I scolded him in front of everyone, and when he hurried to get it done in time, I displayed his sloppy work for all to see. He bent himself backwards to please me, yet I never acknowledged his efforts. Now he remain, remains quiet, eyes cast low. He will think twice before challenging me again. Alright. Getting personal. In her response, my liege queen Emmengrad encouraged my slight dip into more, more personal topics. Now I just have to keep pretending that I know anything about warfare. And it's very clear that I don't. But yeah, let us speak more. We lost the war. Yeah, so be it. Um... Against Brabant. Okay, so. Okay. Well, it is what it is. And this war is still going on. Uh, he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you get for not coming to my aid when they were attacking us here. Together we could have beaten them back then, but. You decided to go home. Well, so did I. Okay, my cousin... Ah, yes, I see. Cousin released, that means they lost? No? Uh, a discovery at the end of my Spy Master Forbes' latest report. He pauses for a moment. There is something you should know about your knight. Sigismond and Constance are engaged in an illicit affair. Sigismond and Constance? Well, she is single. How do I still have a single lady here? Okay. Uh, if I did not know it to be true... And this... I learned... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> At the last moment you got a powerful ally? My goodness. How fates turn. Huh? Okay, why don't you come and get rid of these armies in my territory? Okay. Yeah. Um... What was I thinking? Oh yeah, I have a single lady. Court, adult, female, unmarried, but she's not on this list. Why? Why? Let's go back to Constance, unland, oh, wandering, she's a guest. Ah, so if I would, no, invite you to court, no. What? My absent courtiers. Wow. So many people have been imprisoned. It's not funny. And you, my dear. Eight. That's not much. Recruit to court for how many? 220 gold? Because you have a claim on Meath. No, thanks. I'm not looking to expand to Ireland. She's not swayed. Well, if you don't come and fight these people here, I will never be able to raise my armies and come and help you. Not that you need any. Your numbers are so much bigger. Okay, what's our problem now? Our steward died. Damiano, why did you die? You were murdered. How did you get yourself murdered? What did you do? Well, luckily for us, what? I thought you didn't have a child. No. 
I thought you didn't have a child. And now you have two. One is 30 years old. Yeah, this one I know about, right? But this one? Interesting. So she's now the Countess of Brugge. Okay. Yeah, my niece from Antwerp was taken prisoner. It's, it's not going well here. Yeah, if you guys come and get them out, that would be very nice. So I need a new steward. Holbert is still alive. Or my brother, who is my chancellor. Oh, he's disfigured now. No, no, he's good there. He's good there. He's a spy master, so... Yes, yeah, Sophia. Apparently you're the best that we have. Didn't my mother marry somebody as well? Who did we get our mother hooked up with? Ah, Vincenzo. But he has been imprisoned. Yeah, when he's back, we should make him our marshal. Maybe that will help. Good. At least they're killing some of our enemies. And uh, getting out of there? No? Maybe? I've discovered that Countess Katarina's inherited contract obliges her to more than you have collected. Oh, time to right this wrong. Good. We have a well-organized court, even though half of them are imprisoned by Iceland. We won the war, finally. Does that mean we get all our prisoners back? Daughter released, okay, that's good. And she's no longer sick. Excessive tariffs. Smuggling. Okay. Um maybe the others will come back too. No? Stepfather released. Okay, that's good. And that means we shall appoint you as the new marshal. And Queen Amagarda is swayed. That's very good. And so now we have Alba and uh, Lotharingia as our allies. Why isn't my heir still imprisoned? For a hundred gold? Oh. That's what it takes. And he left the prison too. Very nice. Greetings, Duke Conrad of Holland. I have heard good things about you and I'm interested in starting a written conversation. I hope that this letter finds you willing, for I am awaiting your swift reply. Duke Eberhard of Friuli. Okay, start exchanging letters. How am I doing with my uh, stress levels? Oh, there are zero. Okay, that's fine. Um, we could pull our children back. How about other people? Mature. Well, he's 67, but he is the giant, right? He is the giant. For 10? Okay. 
Camudo. Fifteen, yes. Um, we need to wait. Okay. Camudo is also pretty old, but for ten gold, we'll get him back. And Teodofredo. Oh, he's not very good. He's not very good. So we don't really care about him. Not enough to pay more gold. Okay. Thank you for your swift response. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please, I implore you, pick the first subject for us to discuss. Um, please. Tell me about tone collections. You're a scholar. You've greatly misjudged me if you think sycophantry, sycophantry will get you anywhere. I see now your words are as empty as your skull and to think I used to value your friendship. Oops. Prematurely, the child was not meant to be. She's no longer pregnant. Okay. unlock a new perk let's do so and forward died okay and he didn't get any children and she doesn't look to be pregnant but we could get someone with high prowess back into our court like Kaspar Okay, and we need a new spy master. Yeah, our sister is pretty good. So I'll assign her. Okay, so yeah, we're uh, we're directly under Italy. This looks so weird. Yeah, so Italy got a big part of uh, West Francia, yeah? the Duchy of Anjou. Speaking of, no, I mean the Duchy of Anjou. Isn't that what this is? What is that? Let's keep on rotating here. Here, this. Ah, oh, okay. Why wasn't he supposed to take over? Why did she get? Uh, I mean, no. Go back. She's younger, but she's a duchess now. That is weird. Okay. Um, we still have our son betrothed to Jeanne. daughter. Is there anybody special? Just out. Okay, we may wait a while then. Um, heart of the family? Befriend. Okay, this befriend scheme.
Let's do this. And then... We still need to wait a little bit, right? Before we can switch. November. Okay. Fair enough. Um... If we construct a city, we do not have enough money. Okay. Um, the farms and fields, we can do that. So, farms and fields will eventually give us development growth, if we look here, supply limit, higher taxes, development growth, rain, and if we would go for pastoral lands, it would give us less development growth, but more levies. Hmm. We have a smallish army, so but we have powerful allies. Yeah, I think we should go for the tax. Extra tax. To the implacable Conrad, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I will graciously take the hand of your court, Kimhild, in holy matrimony. Excellent. We have another knight. Oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay. I wanted to release Teofredo for 10 gold. Uh huh. Theodofredo. Who are your parents? Wilhelmine and Sons. They're all physicostic. Aren't they like wanderers that came into our court during our father's time? Yeah, I mean, he's sadistic. I can't use him for anything, really, so I decline. Sorry. No, I don't need him. You keep him. Not willing to pay 10 gold for that. Niklas becomes a wise man. Well, shouldn't his learning go up? Then? Oh, his learning is going up, yes. Wow. Um, well, good for you, but I'm, I think I'm gonna... Who was it in my court? My mother? Who had... Uh, it's a pretty cool court. We had a physician, novice physician, yeah, my mother, and physician, nobody, and renowned, nobody, okay, so it's just my mother, who is a physician now, and she's much better at this, so, the Mount Conversion. Oh, she's still on Insular Christian. Oh, we don't really care about that. 
I will appoint you as my court physician. That's what I'm willing to pay for because you are so much better. Um, my children still have guardians, right? No, she doesn't. Okay. Stewardship education. Yeah, that's what we're going for, stewardship or learning. Learning is better. But yeah, what are you going to do with that? Become a... A court physician, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna let you continue with your stewardship. And educate the child myself. Right, and he still has my sister. He is also old enough to get an education. You're going for a martial education? Yeah, that seems to make sense. But that's definitely not my strength, but it is a Vincenzo's. Convert culture? No. did look at hers, not at hers yet. Okay, and then we have our, in our house, yes, Svana Hild. Ooh. She is at my court. Yeah, but I can't appoint her as Chancellor, can I? Regenwald is getting an intrigue education, but he no longer has a guardian. Yeah, my sister Bertilt can do that. And that's all taken care of. And then here, Ida, seven years old. Okay, time for an education. Um, we should go for stewardship. And he is not a steward. All for guardianship by me. Yeah, I think so. Okay, now can we switch this to stewardship? Yes, good. Then Jakobijn is still really young and Maynard. Good. Am I going to suede? Yeah. Um, Yeah, these heathens that are occupying Dutch lands should be kicked out, don't you think so? Look at them. They're not strong. They're in fact vastly inferior to ours because we have some powerful allies. How are we doing here? We're doing okay. We don't have money though, so that's a bit of a problem. And we have low control in Zeeland. Okay. Um, so this this will be our next target for sure. He has uh, he's in debt. He has no money. So that should be a pretty quick war with the help of our allies. And we do have enough prestige. 
Let's get my marshal on, yeah, regaining control of our counties. That would also give us more soldiers. And the thing is, I don't know how long I can wait before he makes a new alliance. Right? He has a five-year-old daughter. David left the prison, okay, and he's back in my court without me even having had to pay for him. Um, who can you bring in? Anybody useful? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Unless it's somebody with like a four-star education. See, we have Mastermind Philosopher, and this legendary Blade Master, that's pretty good. We have our Elusive Shadow, we have a Brilliant Strategist, another Elusive Shadow. We don't seem to have one uh, that's exceptionally good in uh, Diplomacy. So why don't you see if you can um, get a grey eminence into our court. So there is a Valdemerka. In order. And Sophie. Yeah. I think we'll go for Valdemirka. She looks good. Get her on board. And if we want to educate someone in uh, diplomacy, we can. Countess Sophia doesn't like us. Maybe we should sway her. Right? Take a quick break. Um, my throat is uh, getting a bit itchy. I think uh, 